we've got three, three navigating uh, instruments we use here. We've got an instrument called a program called Tsunami. Um, all these are, are basically uh, Microsoft-based Microsoft -based computer programs. Tsunami has um, all the charts of the world in it at various scales. We also have a microplot program which we use for logging all our um, fasteners, tracks, wrecks, whatever else we, we use. Um, we can build up portfolios of, of, of each uh, client that comes out and we can keep all the information. We then transfer that to our bridge master um, PC and we can email the customer all the tracks information that they want or save them to disk and send them one that way. We have a fish master uh, which is, is a navigation program as well. It is linked to the bridge master radar. It's got uh, a range of up to 96 miles which is over the horizon but it can also uh, track uh, targets, 50 targets at a time and give you all the information. It's like a mini ARPA system. We have a searchlight sonar which can see up to, it's, it's basically an underwater radar and it can, it can see uh, objects up to a kilometre ahead of us coming towards us under the water. We've got a similar DS60 um, dual frequency sounder, echo sounder, which is various ranges and we have a Scanmar net monitoring system. It's, it is the top of the range in net monitoring equipment. We, we can attach uh, sensors onto the trolls and send the troll astern of us, probably a quarter of a mile behind us, and it sends a signal through the water without wires attached telling you exactly what the troll is doing, how much fish has been caught, um, the spread of your, your gear, and the height and opening of your net. We also have a, a Simrad EK60 scientific sounder, which is based down the stairs in our, our uh, dry laboratory. All the instruments here are all uh, Simrad based. Most of the package aboard here is Simrad, um, which is possibly the top of the range in, in marine instruments. We have AP50 um, autopilot. It controls for the SL35, controls the bridge master radar, we all, all are controlled by tracker ball rather than mouse. The mouse tend to fly about in the rough weather, so the tracker balls are all, they're all anchored down, upside down mice basically. Uh, we have two, sim, two Simrad GPS navigators, differential GPS, which gives us accuracy to about three metres on the Earth's surface. So it's very accurate. The vessel itself, she's 22 metres long, 300 tonnes. She carries 30,000 litres of fuel. We, we make our own water. We make a tonne of fresh water a day in a desalination plant. She's five of a crew and we have nine individual cabins. She's central heated, air conditioned and works on a maximum of 14 days at sea. Customers at the moment, we have a company, ESS, which is based in Edinburgh, who are working in conjunction with National Wind Power on wind farms down in the Liverpool Bay area, uh, along the north coast of Wales. They are ornithologists who take measurements and counts of birds in that area to see they're not affected by the, the construction of the wind farms, basically to make sure they don't fly into <laughs> these huge 110 metre wind farms which there's 30, I think at the, at the moment there's 30 of them down there. Our other customers include a company ERT based in Edinburgh as well at Heriot Watt University. We're doing a, a survey for them in April in the IDC as well. They, they're, they'll be locating a rig um, for a, a, I think it's an oil or gas company and we had to do a, a footprint of the seabed for them to locate the rig. We do work for the Scottish office based in Aberdeen, uh, Strathclyde Police, we've done work for them, 
British Geological Survey. Um, we do sampling work for them as well. And our core customers are, are the visiting students. We would hope that the people chartering at our marine, marine um, institutes or, or companies involved in the marine side of things, rather than Auntie Mary going out for her 60th birthday, you know, and taking a wee jolly down the Clyde. <laughs> you may quite enjoy it. <laughs> but it would be very expensive for her. <laughs> yeah, we'll have, um, we have a side scan sonar equipment, um, uh, searchlight sonar, and um, echo sounding equipment. Underwater television, which we'll also have aboard. Um, most, most vessels you'll find take about a day to set up their, their underwater TV equipment. We can, we can have a, a camera in the water within half an hour, which, which is great. Um, for that kind of work, it's, it's super. Life in the boat's fine if the weather's all right. Um, we've, we've just come back from Kilkeelan Island last week. Uh, the, the, the big storm that hit Britain last week was, uh, was, was okay because we were in port in Kilkeel. But it was it was wild. It was a, a wild place to be. Um, the boat itself is designed to work out at, uh, out in waters out, out near Rockall. Uh, she's very deep drafty. She's got 4.2 meters below the water. So and an, an eight meter beam. So she's she's got a good grip of the sea. Um, though it can it can get rough at times. But we work to the limits that the the scientists are comfortable with. There's no point in having six scientists aboard. And we don't get any work done. So, we have we have various sampling equipment. We have beam trawls. We have van veen grabs, uh, crab corers, uh, water sampling carousels. We we can basically grab anything out of the sea. It's very much a fishing. Yes, vessel. it is a fishing vessel. Yeah, a collector of specimens, the same as our smaller vessels as well. But it's all due to uh, orders that come into our sales department or requests from students, visiting students or our PhD students who are based for, here for three years at a time. But um, we have built up a knowledge over the years of where to go and collect certain animals. And probably within half an hour or an hour we can have the, the animal boxed and packaged and sent away to, to the customer.